Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create the cinematic Deep Space Stargate from scratch. Create a new document by going to File and New. Make the width 1550 pixels, the height 870 pixels, and the resolution 150 pixels per inch. The mode is RGB and 8 bits per channel. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. If your foreground and background colors aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. We'll fill the canvas with black by pressing Alt-Delete on Windows or Option-Delete on a Mac. Make a copy of your background by pressing Ctrl or Command J. We'll place the copy into a folder by pressing Ctrl or Command G. Click the thumbnail of layer 1 to make it active. Click the foreground color, which opens the color picker. In the brightness field, type in 15. This will make the foreground color a very dark gray. Then click OK. Go to Filter, Render, and Clouds. We're going to stretch the clouds horizontally. To do this, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. At the top, you'll see the percentages of the transform's width and height. Go to the width and type in 300. Then press Enter or Return. Since the clouds have a width of 300%, they're extending beyond both sides of your document. To crop them off, press Ctrl or Command A to select the width and the height of your document, and go to Image and Crop. To deselect it, press Ctrl or Command D. Go to Filter, Pixelate, and Mesotint. Choose Medium Strokes and click OK. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. Slide the amount all the way to the right. Make the Blur method Zoom and the quality Best, then click OK. Repeat the filter by pressing Ctrl or Command F and then repeat it one more time. Next, we'll frame it to the same aspect ratio of a widescreen movie. Go to View and make sure Rulers and Snap are checked. If they aren't, just click on them. Open your Crop tool, and for the width, type in 2.66 and the height 1. This is the aspect ratio of the original CinemaScope movies. Go to the ruler at the top, and drag down a guideline to the top of the cropped area. It'll snap to it because we have Snap checked. If you don't see the guideline, press Ctrl or Command H. Drag another guideline to the bottom of the cropped area. Zoom out of your document by pressing Ctrl or Command and the minus key on your keyboard. Open your rectangular marquee tool and drag a selection from the top left corner to the lower right corner of the document's guidelines. Make the folder active and click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the folder. The white area of the layer mask will reveal the inside of each layer within the folder. To see your document at 100%, press Ctrl or Command 1. To hide the guidelines, press Ctrl or Command H. Make the clouds layer active. We'll invert it by pressing Ctrl or Command I. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Open your elliptical marquee tool and go to the center of your image. Press and hold Alt or Option as you drag out an ellipse approximately this size and shape. Go to Select, Modify, and Feather. Feather it 100 pixels and click OK. 
Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. We'll make the foreground color completely black by pressing D on your keyboard to revert it to its default color. Fill the selection with black by pressing Alt or Option plus Delete. Then deselect it. Reduce its opacity to 80%. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Invert your foreground and background colors by pressing X on your keyboard or by clicking this icon. Open your Brush Tool and open your Brush Picker. Make your brush size 600 pixels and the hardness 0%. Its opacity and flow are both 100%. Hover your cursor over the center and left click once. Click the adjustment layer icon and click Gradient. Open the Gradient Picker and open your list of gradient presets. I'll choose Color Harmonies 2, however, feel free to experiment with other presets. When you see this window, click OK to replace the current gradients with the gradients from the preset you just chose. I'll click this one. Make the style radial and I'll drag the scale all the way to the right. This zooms into the center of the gradient. The higher the scale amount, the more it zooms in. Play with this amount to get the colors you want. You can always change it later. Change its blend mode to color. Next, we'll add stars. Make the center white glow active and click the new layer icon to make a new layer above it. We'll fill the empty layer with black and since black is the background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Change the blend mode to screen and go to filter, noise and add noise. Make the amount 30%, Gaussian, and monochromatic. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Make the radius 0.5 pixels and click OK. Open Levels by pressing Ctrl or Command L. For Input Shadows, type in 75 and for Input Highlights, type in 160, then click OK. Next, we'll add subtle motion trails to the stars to make them appear to be enveloped by the Stargate. Let's rename the star layer, Stars, and reduce its opacity to 70%. Press Enter or Return and make a copy of the stars. Make its opacity 100%. Go to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. Make the amount 5, Zoom, and Best. Then click OK. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.